the word consciousness, it, it's, an, it's an old word, and I think it's a social word. Uh, and it, if you look in my book, uh, I have something like 26 different meanings for the same word. And the reason consciousness is considered a mystery is because the philosophers who talk about it don't recognize that they're using it as a trash basket for, for 26, or I forget the number actually, of different problems about psychology that they don't understand. If you look in early Freud, he's saying that consciousness is the collection of activities that result when there are conflicts between basic instincts and higher level constraints between what the individual wants and what a culture wants. But the mystery of consciousness that uh, it's very popular nowadays, people like Stephen Harnett and other philosophers uh, make a big uh, fuss about it. But as far as I can see, they never look at that word and see that this is just all the mysteries that all the things about higher level thinking that they don't understand. Giving a single word to it, of course, makes it seem like a big question, a very hard question. But if you break it into 26 easy questions, then you've got a lot of things to work on, and there's no general mystery at all, as far as I can see. Well, here's how philosophers um, often describe it. For example, um, Tom Nagel and what is it like to be a bat. For something to be conscious means that there is something that it's like for that thing to be that thing. What do you mean something? The matter. There are facts of the matter. So right now. Is there a something were, it's like, or is there a lot of complicated stuff? A lot of stuff? something. So for right now, for example, I'm, I'm conscious. I'm not sure about anybody else, but I am. <laughs> and yeah. you could describe me. Um, and as a novelist, of course, I do this all the time. I describe what is it like for that character to be in the world. What is the, char what is the world like for that character? Uh, what does it feel like? Um, so there are sensations, there are memories, there are emotions, there so are moods. So there are 36 moods, things. This. What's the problem? Um, so the thing is that could you, in getting a description of that person in purely a Another way of putting all of these facts are they're facts about one's subjectivity. Your brain has 20,000 genes. Do you want it to be 10 words or 50? But That's here's silly. Here's the question. The question is, what's in a description? The description of a purely physical description, as we have it now, right? A purely objective description. Would you be able to get out of that the description of? all that it's like to be that person at that moment, or even if any has, of them, sure. any of them. If it has 30,000 equations, why not? It's just From hard. From the equation, you could get out that right now, um, I What's am, the right now have to do with it? Well, because consciousness is something that takes place it's in the It's not right something. Now. It's a word. It's an experience. It is, it is it's the everything facts you'd... of what it is like to You're be using a it, living it, person. It, at it, it, it. There's no All right, it. let me, how do I put well, this? How do yeah. I put it without? <laughs> yes, um, settle so this. Marvin, Marvin, with all due respect, <laughs> you can't solve a problem by declaring that it's meaningless. I know this is a popular tactic. I said it's 20. <laughs> I said it's 26 problems. <laughs> No, it didn't, say, it didn't say it's meaningless. What Marvin is saying is that when you say consciousness, you don't mean a single thing. Of course there are, not. There of are lots not. of problems involved in what one tries to bury under the concept of consciousness. And if you actually try to address, please correct me if I'm paraphrasing you, not in the right way. If you actually try to address individual problems which you will phrase correctly and pose correctly, you may or may not be able to find physical solutions to each one of those problems. Yeah, let me give one example. Uh, if I might be wrong about this, but I was reading Galileo once a long time ago. He's talking about this thing, and it's 100 years before Newton. And he's got momentum, which is mv and energy, which is mv squared, and he's using the same word. And that's all I'm saying. The reason people are puzzled about consciousness is it's the difference between 
Galileo and Newton, and they should be using 26 words, but they stick to it and they say it, it, what's it like? Mm. There's no it. There's yeah. 26 I don't things. Think that that's, there that's are probably the heart more than 26, yeah. would be my guess. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, there are a trillion is, neurons. Yeah. Right? You know what we're talking about here. I mean, the fact that we're describing <laughs> this in purely objective terms, in purely physical terms, uh, a, a material system. And I'm not a, you know, I'm not a dualist. I think that in fact we are our brains, and that our uh, our consciousness is a function of our brains. Right? You're using I'm not it all the time. Our I, I don't use the is word. Is a function of our brains. How is that? Where's the it? Uh, I, I don't. I, do, I don't. The consciousness it. is it. It's it. Consciousness. It's a brace basket. 